with Overdrive, you can set up a great looking site in minutes using content from Google Drive. Today, I'm going to create an event site for my company's annual conference. We're an office furniture company and every year we get together for talks, networking and some socializing. This year it's going to be an online conference, so we don't need to worry about the venue, but the rest of the event organization is much the same. The site will help with the whole life cycle of the event, planning, registration, collateral, feedback and more. Overdrive sites are built from Google Drive folders and all of the forms and files my event needs are in this folder in Google Drive. The agenda is a Google Doc, the registration is a Google Form and its responses are stored automatically in this spreadsheet. The resources folder has subfolders for all of the delegate materials to go with the sessions. I was going to store all the photos in Drive 2, but instead I'm going to use the shared album in Google Photos and incorporate it into my site. The news folder contains news articles in the form of Google Docs that should help to keep the delegates engaged before, during and after the event. Once I've connected Overdrive to Drive, I can use this menu to both create new sites and jump across to existing ones. My site design is looking a bit basic, so I'm going to find my company logo. and use Template Designer to pick a template that suits my corporate colors. These advanced settings give me lots of control over the design and layout if I want to go further, so I'm going to turn off the side menu. As you can see, my site has been automatically created using the content in Google Drive. Notice how all of the folders from Drive are now pages in the menus and they'll stay in sync if I make changes in here or in Drive. And the content of the folders has also been brought across. Overdrive folders can be presented in a range of views. These slide decks will work well displayed as large icons. OK, now the conference delegates have friendly, easy access to conference files without having to use Drive. Users with edit permissions are able to create and upload new files and edit existing ones. Now, back to the home page. The assets folder is where I'm going to keep logos and other files needed for the site. And I don't need it to appear in the menus, so I'll switch it off like this. The agenda doc is very important to my delegates and speakers, so I'm going to make it appear in the menus. Same for the registration form and the attendee spreadsheet. And you'll see those appearing in the nav at the top. So, Here's the registration form that delegates will use to join the event, which automatically feeds the spreadsheet. Now, I'm seeing all of the columns in that spreadsheet. I'm going to use the page builder on the right hand side to configure this tile. And choose which columns I want to see. So now I'll turn on some other features to make it as interactive as possible. Now the attendees list is available from the top menu for both delegates and organizers. The key columns are visible straight away and if I click a row I can get into all the details for that particular attendee. I can control columns here and I can export in various formats. 
The news folder has an important role in my event site, so I'm going to make it look a bit better. Again, I'm going to use the page builder and choose blog view. Each article now shows with a thumbnail image extracted from the doc and the first few sentences of text. When I click to view an article, there's a comments tile below each one to encourage feedback from my users. And finally, the photos page. I was going to store all the photos in Drive, but instead I'm going to use our photos tile instead of a folder tile. Pick the photo album that's shared with all the delegates and choose medium icons. Great looking gallery. When I click a photo it zooms and I have a slideshow mode as well. And there we have it. A great looking site in around five minutes that will form the basis of my new G Suite powered conference portal. Get started at overdrive.io today.